In this vlog, we are going to see the implementation of this beautiful video player in our Flutter application. So, in our previous vlogs, we have implemented few video players over there, and here in this part of this tutorial, we are going to deal with the implementation of Chibi video player. So, I have got few requests around this particular Chibi video player, and today I am going to deal with a tutorial around it. So, Stay tuned till the end of this tutorial and try to see how we are going to implement this particular video player in our Flutter application. And also if you try to observe, we have got few more options here, forward and backward options here. So here you can find like we have got 15 seconds backward and 15 seconds forward here. And also you have got a seek bar again here. And the play video which is getting played is directly from the URL and this is not stored in our local folder here. And also we have got like playback speed selection as well available in this particular video player now so here if i choose like a 0.25 here so here you can clearly observe the video is being played at the lowest speed possible and here when we select 1.5 here so it is playing at the highest speed possible and also we have got an options like to minimize and maximize the player and also volume controls we are having over here and also we'll try to start with this particular tutorial and implement this video player in your Flutter applications. So I suggest you to watch this tutorial till the end and also I will be providing you the links for the previous tutorials where we have dealt with another video players in the description section below. So you can find the easiest way of implementation for you and implement in your Flutter applications. So now let's get started. <music> The dependencies which we require for this particular tutorial are like Chibi 1.7.4 here and also Video Player 2.8.2. So here we are making use of these two dependencies and try to update these dependencies according to the latest available versions just to avoid issues when you are implementing them. And now let's get started with this particular tutorial. And if you are familiar with the initial skeleton for the application, you can just skip this particular part and directly get on with the implementation. And as we are dealing with the beginners tutorials so the beginners might find helpful if we get started from the initial line of code so in every tutorial i'm going to start from the beginner perspective and here we are going to specify void main and here make use of run app here and try to specify our my app class here and in all our previous tutorials i have clearly explained like line by line so you can just uh, watch those particular tutorials to get the in detail analysis of the code here and also we are going to make use of a stateful widget now and again if you're not familiar with the stateful and stateless widget i'm going to pin the video here and you can just have a look and try to know the difference between a stateful and stateless widget in flutter applications so this time we are going to make use of a stateful widget because we need to have some initializations before getting started to play a video on our Flutter application. So here the name of the class is my app and here you can see we have got our stateful widget and we have specified it over there. And now instead of returning a placeholder here, let us try to return a material app. Inside let us try to specify a scaffold. So in this particular scaffold, so scaffold will help us to develop the basic skeleton of the application. And here I am making use of a column here. And column again is considered to be a multi-child widget. Here we can specify uh, multiple widgets here. So column and row are multi-child widgets. And uh, here we need to also specify an app bar here. And not in the material app, inside the scaffold itself, we need to specify. We need to specify an app bar here. And uh, here with the help of a title we need to make use of a text widget here to specify the title here i am going to specify chibi player also let us add video here so that would give much more clarity and also you can just make it constant here so as this is a tutorial i am not going to consider constants just you can add them uh, when you are dealing with the real time applications but for the tutorial sake that's okay uh, doesn't matter and here in the children here we are going to design a player widget so this is nothing but our video player and we need to 
create this particular widget now and we are done with the basic coding now let us start with the player widget coding here so let us try to create a player widget class here so okay as we are separating the player widget from our uh, default class so we need not require a stateful widget here we can just convert it to stateless widget here so this is a step for converting a stateful widget to a stateless widget and also the vice versa is possible here so just tap over your button over the stateless widget here and you can find an option here like convert to stateful widget so when you tap on this it will get converted to a stateful widget again so again based on your requirement you can just choose this particular widgets and now let's try to create our player widget now and as we said so we'll be using a stateful widget now and uh, here let's get started with the uh, player widget now remove the placeholder here and now let us try to declare few variables here and with the help of late here so late in the sense we are going to initialize these particular components in later part of the code so that's the reason we are specifying them by late here and here we are going to make use of a video player controller so we have added the dependencies right so making use of them we are going to specify this video player controller now and we need one more declaration here and it is also a late declaration again and this time we are going to specify chibi controller here so i'm just going okay chibi controller and just make use of them and if you are not able to find these suggestions here just try to recheck your dependencies and try to tap on pop get button over here so that you are able to find these two dependencies when you are trying to make use of them in your code and also we need a boolean variable now just to make sure is our video is initialized or not as we are playing the video right after the application is opened up so we are making use of this particular boolean variable and initially we will be specifying it to be false and the next step is init block of code here and here we are going to specify the url so as we have specified the video controller here and making use of it we are going to specify the url now and if you are having any queries like how to make use of an internal video or the source like i'm specifying like when you are having a video within your code how we want to make use just let me know in the comment section below i will surely try to help you video player controller we have just specified right so video player controller dot here i am going to make use of a network url and here i am going to specify the link for our video so here i have added a sample uh, video file here you can just replace it with your url with your uh, video url and also make sure here there should be like a format specified here at the end of the url and i do got few comments on my previous tutorials where few uh, people are trying to play youtube uh, url i mean they are trying to add youtube url here and that will not work in these particular players so i have also deal with the youtube player implementation in flutter so please check out that particular tutorial i will be providing the link in the description section below just make sure you specify the url which is valid format okay which is in a valid format here we have specified the video player controller now and it's turned for the chibi controller now so let us try to specify the chibi controller here and uh, try to specify our video controller tapping the chibi controller it automatically took the video player controller here and also we do have some options like autoplay here again it's completely an optional thing for you if you want your user to tap on the play button then you can just specify it as false but here i just want the video to be played as in how the application is opened up so i am specifying it like an autoplay here and also looping i am specifying because the video url i mean the video which i have specified is like just a 4 seconds video i want it to be played continuously irrespective of my button tapping like play every time and these two are again completely optional things you can just make them false or you can just ignore them and now it's turn to initialize the video player 
so the video player controller again we are making use of it and trying to initialize it this time and make use of set state here and try to make each video initialized true here because after initialization we want our boolean value to be true why because based on this particular boolean value we are going to play the video in the next step and here instead of returning a placeholder here let's try to return an aspect ratio here and again when you are dealing with a video player you might be aware of the aspect ratio so aspect ratio is again completely depending upon your video aspect i mean video dimensions to say in general and here dot value equal to i'm going to consider the aspect ratio of that particular video here and in the child here so just start in the next line so that it's visible and let us try to specify the chibi widget now and here we are going to make use of the chibi controller which we have specified and what we did with this particular chibi controller here we have assigned with our video player controller and also we have specified the autoplay and looping options over here okay so that we have attached now here and uh, that's it just make it in the next line so we have ended the chibi here and also the aspect ratio and also one more important aspect here we have specified is video initialized true right so i have said in later part of the tutorial we are going to make use of it so now it's turn to make use of it so if video is initialized only i mean video player controller is initialized then only we should perform this particular step or else not okay so this if blocks ends here and we also need to specify an else block and what this else block what will this else block have so till the time you run this particular uh, video like we have specified an url so it takes some time to download the video and play the video right so till then you need to uh, display a progress bar here so circular progress indicator and also again you can just make it a constant here so it's very easy in flutter to specify a circular progress indicator generally in android and ios then you need to have few lines of code to add an indicator and also a layout file requires to specify a progress bar i think we are done with this particular coding and everything we have considered and now let us try to run this particular code and see the output in a simulator here so our build is almost completed and application is also installed and now let us try to observe the output once and here okay we have got an issue like bad state future already completed so yes there is a mistake here we have not specified widget initial we have not con uh, considered whether the widgets are initialized or not so that is a major step uh, we have skipped here and again it's just a one line of code here so now let us try to add flutter binding dot ensure initialized and also after adding this particular line here let us try to make this asynchronous here i mean it should wait till the initializations are completed and again one more issue here uh, we have specified like video player controller dot network url here and again this is not being accessed the url is not being accessed and we are getting an error and if you make use of network here instead of network url then this will work for sure but the main issue is like here this method is deprecated so we don't want to use the deprecated method so i made a correction over here in this particular line as well let's try to make it like network url again so this is a new way of uh, uh, specifying the url and just try to remove as uri here and try to specify uh, uri dot parse here and here let us try to specify our url here so just specify in this way and this will make sure like our string is being parsed as a uri and here you can see now our video is being played successfully again 
and also the options what we have seen like forward 15 seconds and backward and also the minimize and the audio options here you can just mute and unmute here and also the playback options so all the things again a basic video player what the thing should be having all the things we got in this particular implementation and also one more uh, interesting aspect here instead of network url here you can just make use of asset here so if you are having a local video file just you can make use of this particular asset and specify the path here and also content uri if you are making use of a content uri you can also make use of this particular content uri here and specify the path over here and also the file option is available here and make sure like network is deprecated just make use of network url instead of network here and this is it for this particular tutorial and the code for this particular tutorial i'm going to provide in the description section below and if you like this tutorial do like share and subscribe to our channel for more interesting content on flutter